Hey guys, so this is my top down analysis on gold, guys. Top down analysis on gold. What are we looking for? What on gold? We can see that gold overall is in a bull trend. This is the monthly time frame, as you can see. An impulse correction, an impulse. We should be expecting some sort of like a push of a correction for it to continue to push to the um to the upside right but we know that we have to take it one step at a time based on the fact that we are intraday trader right so let's go to the monthly time frame and see so we can see that based on the previous analysis i've done and i've also said right that we can see that we are currently around the negative 27 percent fib level which we know that is um and you know that those are like reversal zones right so whenever we get to that area there is always that possibility of it rejecting right and we can see that we've been currently rejecting around this zone right here because it's not it's trying to break out of that zone but it's not breaking out of that zone so on a smaller time frame we should be seeing some sort of like a rejection to the downside right that is what i'm looking kind of on gold right now especially the fact that i said that we are an interday trader right so as you can see that i had this um fibonacci drawn on this current price action right here for us to see that we are on a down more we can see this um it's giving us the m pattern right here and like i've said you know the m pattern is a reversal pattern all right and we need also called the double top right so from here right it's giving us sort of like this then i'm predicting it to at least come down to this level right here like i've mentioned previously in my previous analysis on gold right and which is my negative 27 percent fib level right here and we know that also aligns with this previous break of structure we had because we can see that we broke the structure with this beautiful candle right here and it hasn't retested yet so there is that possibility of it coming down right here to retest right here and we also see that that also aligns with negative 27 percent fib level so at least for the continuation of down move right here on gold i'm predicting it to at least get this area right here right so at least right here right so that's my overall prediction on gold so let's go to more smaller time frame just like i said we are not a string trader so um we can see that the market is too pushing to the downside as well so it's just seeing it to come down right so let's see nothing in the daily time frame let's come over to my four hour time frame and see what the mic is doing let's see if i can draw a trend line that makes sense around here mm. it does though let's see mm. Yeah, wait, I don't think I want to trail right here because I genuinely see it's pushing up a little bit to be honest to maybe around this area right here before pushing to the downside or coming right here because if I draw a mini zone right here let's say a mini zone is drawn right here I see it's coming up to this level right here to retest the break of structure and there is also an imbalance right here to come up here retest that level right here before pushing to the downside I certainly see that if I draw a mini feed from point A uh, for point A to point B let's see mm, Mm. 
you can see that this level that I say right here aligns with the 61.8% FIB level and around that area right here. So I see that possibility of it pushing up a little bit. So I think I'm just going to leave this right here. Yeah, as we can see that based on this minor structure right here we have not even got into my negative 7 percent FIP level so i still see that possibility that it might push up a little bit or more to this area before pushing to the downside and i don't want us to also forget that where we currently have right here is a significant zone so based on that i'm gonna draw a box around this zone right here you can see that that's also a significant zone based on the prior um, price actions we can see that we rejected around that area quite a number of times right so there is that possibility of it actually continue to push to the downside around that area don't forget that as well and that is why i like to be open-minded because we don't want the market right anything can happen so but like i said it might still just push up right here to tank up to negative 27 percent fib level right to give us this sort of like this end pattern right here to continue to push to the upside right and i also say if we continue with a momentum of the buy around this area a retest around that area then there is that possibility of it getting it to maybe this area right here which is negative 27 percent fib level to retest that that area like I mentioned earlier so let's see so right now I'm just gonna put my scenario out there my first scenario is based on the fact that this zone right here is quite sensitive based on power price action that rejected there and we can see let me go to my one hour and see the candlestick mm. like let me see okay based on this candlestick kind of as well which i because of it's rejecting here though so it doesn't it's not really that solid for me to see that it may continue to push like the sales are in the market so that's what i'm saying like we might see that sort of rejection to eat negative 27 percent level right here to give us the um double top to continue to ride to the downside right and if we do that let's see maybe something like this this would be a good target for a sell that if we sell right that would be a good target for a sell right there right that's my first good target for a sell But if you continue to push to the upside, right? If you see that up move, let's see, about something like this. Come here, maybe break, break zone, break the trend line, retest of some sort. Then this area right here will be a good target, which is my negative twenty-seven. I'm um, sorry, my negative 61.8% FIB level around that area would be a good tiger. T zero zero eight five. Yeah, that would be a target for my. So this is my current um price target on gold guys hope you guys find it helpful if you do please don't forget to subscribe comment like and share and i'll see my next analysis guys thank you for watching bye